You are looking in front of the former, if you're familiar with Goodfellas, Henry Hills, the suite on Queens Boulevard, the scene of the end, you know, in real life, the end inside what happened, the end of Billy, Billy Bats. That is Billy Bats. Tom D. Simone plays the part in this. Thomas D. Simone and Henry Hill. It all started, which was the former scene of Robert's Lounge. And uh, Billy Bats came uh, came back home after serving some time in prison. Welcome home party at Robert's Lounge. And Billy Bats over there jokingly asked Tom D. Simone if he still signed shoes were outside again of Henry Hill's former location was sweet. It plays a part. Pay attention. So, Billy Bats, inside of that welcome home party, asked Tommy D. Simone if he still signed shoes, which D. Simone perceived as an insult. He leaned over to Hill, uh, to Hill, Henry Hill, who's in Robert's Lounge, and Jimmy Burke, who owned Robert's Lounge, to say, I'm going to kill that fuck. Two weeks later, on June 11th, 1970, Billy Bats was at the suite. Where we are, right in front of the suite. When the club was nearly empty, this is um, in Goodfellas, who um, Billy Bats was portrayed by, uh, portrayed by that famous scene. So when... Billy, uh, you know, when Billy Bats was alone, club nearly empty inside that club, D. Simone pistol whipped him, yelling, shine these effing shoes, no, he said, <laughs> let's be honest, shine these fucking shoes, and he beated him bloody, D. Simone did to Billy Bats. After Bats was severely beaten and presumed dead, De Simone, Burke, and Hill placed his body in the trunk of Hill's car. They stopped at um, De Simone's mother's house for a knife, line, and a shovel. Hearing sounds from the trunk, they realized that Billy Bats was still alive, so De Simone and Burke beat him to death again with the shovel and a tire iron. Burke had a friend who owned a, a dog kennel in upstate New York. And Bats was buried there. At the time of his murder in 1970, Billy Bats was 49 years old and a respected and feared made man in the Gambino crime family. Again, the former location of the suite which Henry Hill owned. There's a lot more backstory to that, but you know. Billy Bats came home, party at Robert's Lounge, offended Tommy D. Simone. Tommy D. Simone got revenge at him at the suite that was owned by Henry Hill. Uh, beaten, you know, inside that, that inside the suite lounge, you know, taken away to be buried and never heard from again. Now a hibachi girl. I wonder people know the history. I hope all is well. <laughs>